Monday. Derez. What? It's time. It's time. Get on over here. All right. Uh, so I figured we should start doing some little videos. My name is Sarah J. Uh, this is the one and only D Res. You hear us on the radio. Now you get to see us in person. Uh, I have been working out for about a year now, but I will be honest, the last three weeks, I've not done anything. Well, I have. Well, I've been, I've been, I've been eating a lot. <laughs> So all of the, the work that I put in to get this flat stomach, my little belly has come back, but that's okay. Because I know a lot of us out there are super excited for the holidays and just getting together with family, celebrating Christmas, all that business. Now, can we cart the turkey first and talk about Christmas? I know, right? We're not going to go too, too <laughs> far, but I want you guys to feel confident because I know when you go uh, for these meals, number one, you want to have a very comfortable outfit so you can eat whatever you want. Yeah. I had my outfit all picked out and this weekend. And I put it on and it was not comfortable Oof. because I've been eating too much stuff. So I figured um, every day we're going to give you a different kind of workout that you don't need for the gym that can kind of at least make you feel a little bit more confident going into the holidays. The and you're saving money at the, at the same time. So you have to get out of your chair for this one, okay? I'm going to make you do it with me. All right, so I try to do this one um, a couple of times a day. If you can't make it to the gym or you just want to be a little physical and you're trying to get your whole body worked out at the same time. So we're going to start with a squat, all right? So a squat, technically, and I'm going to have uh, Peter, my, new, my um, workout um, guy, make sure that I'm doing this correctly. But basically, you want your legs shoulder width apart, no farther than that. Feeling yeah, confident with that? Yeah, you do have big shoulders. <laughs> okay, so when we squat, we want to make sure that the your knees are not going over the tips of your toes. I've been doing this wrong the whole time then. You have been doing it wrong probably the whole time, okay? So you'll squat down all, as low as you can go. I've been doing this for a while, so I can go down pretty low. And then when you go up, you want to make sure that you are engaging your core. So like a string, take your belly button, pop it in like ugh, really strong on your tummy. Go down, all the way down, two. And if you're like me, you just want to... Right? Um, this work. I know, it what? does. So we'll do 10 of those. <sighs> just right? look at you doing it. Like, I know. Oh. Hey, hold on. I think I, I lost count. Where am I at? Four. Okay, <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> five. <laughs> Six. And that's okay if you're a little winded and you can do them slow. I know, I know. Oh. Okay, I've done this. Seven. I've done and, this type of See, I've done it a lot, so obviously we're at different levels. And yeah. that's totally okay. But the cool thing about this, because Tanner taught me this, my, my old trainer, uh, seven, you oh, basically yeah. are, all of your blood is moving from the head all the way down to your legs, because this is the first part of it. So we'll do eight. And make sure when you do nine, so make sure when you really, you're going down, your knees are not going over your toes. And when you're lifting, your butt's coming up first. And you're going all the way up or engaging the entire, ready? One more. Uh, and okay. 10, all the way down. Uh, all the way back up. Right after you're done with that, guess what we get to do? 10 push-ups, baby. Well, I better say go get a food. Right? Now you can do your push-ups any way you want. You can do them half like, you know, military style, full on. I can't do that. I don't know if you guys will be able to see. Can they see us anymore? Uh, Is this the butt? Yeah, just you. Yeah, we'll just do Here, get out of there. Get out of here. You get to do 10 too. So I'm going to do them on my knees because I can only do like four regular. But we're going to do this on the hour, every hour. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Good job, you guys. Eight. Eight. Oh. Come on, Ooh. baby. Getting ready for that ninth one. That Nine. Count. One more. Woo! Awesome. <laughs> now, Sarah, you may be surprised about this. <laughs> yes. But in high school, there's not only just that one type of push-up. They also got the uh, work neck to spread them farther. Yeah. To work these yep. muscles out. Do a diamond one so you can actually work these muscles out. There you go. And 
Uh, there's another one I can't mention because that involves a bed, so we'll leave it at that. All right. Well, that's, so, a, that's yeah. a whole another workout for a whole another day. <sighs> but he's right. There's a ton of different ways that you can do the push-up. So that is our very first video of a workout that you can do. Try to do this five times a day. Like every hour. Say you're going to sit and watch four hours of television. Every time it hits a commercial or every other commercial, just do your 10 squats, then do your 10 push-ups, and you're going to feel better. I swear. Post it on Instagram. If it's not on there, you didn't do it. Tag us. Actually, I would love for you to tag us because, too, I will be putting together some packs some workout packs that maybe will have some jump ropes and water bottles and other cool things. But the only way that you can be qualified for the stuff is you show me that you're doing it. That's the whole point is having support because I feel like if I tell you guys I'm doing a crappy job and I need to really push it, but I'm letting you know, see, he's a little out of breath. I'm a little out of breath. But you can be a little yeah. out of breath with I'm us. I'm a little out of breath. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get we're gonna get it right. Gonna get it tight, slowly and surely. All right. Happy Bye. Monday. Bye.